Virgo, this is going to be a tarot, an oracle card reading for all signs. So let's jump right in. Let's not waste any time. And let's find out what this reading is going to be about. Keep in mind, this is a general collective reading. So you need to use your intuition to know if it's for you. It is also timeless, which means it shouldn't matter when I post it. I could post it a year ago and it's still in effect for you. Whenever you found it is when you were supposed to see it. Look at this. We have ant coming out first. We have work, achievement, success. So this has to do with your success and or some kind of achievement with work. So congratulations. Let's use a regular tarot card deck to pull the next card. Let's find out what else we need to know with regard to this work, achievement, or success. <clears throat> Spirits, tell us more, please. Something that you're very worried about. You're very worried. You can't sleep at night. So if you're not worried about something having to do with work right now or like success or achievement, um, then either this reading isn't for you or probably just hasn't happened yet. And this is something coming up in the future. Um, so, you know, like I said, remember this reading and... Um, if there's ever something with work, and I mean, I guess it could end up being romance and the work could be work having to do with, you know, working at um, a situation or something. So it doesn't have to be a career, um, but most likely it is with that card. Um, we have three of pentacles. So this is also going to involve you collaborating with somebody, working with somebody. Um, and I feel like with that card, it's usually the people doing it aren't as concerned with what they're going to get out of it like financially they're more concerned with just doing a really good job so if that resonates with you this could be for you um i feel like also the scales are going to be very balanced soon this could even have something to do with courts we have the justice card here which is i believe number 11 so you know i think you're manifesting this whether you realize you're manifesting it or not um, our thoughts have, and our words have, have a lot of power. So even if you're not intentionally trying to manifest this, you are bringing this in with your positive thinking. So keep your thoughts positive. But the justice is all about karma coming in um, and balancing the scale. So if you've worked really hard in the past, you're going to be rewarded for that. And that's karma making sure that that happens. And with the Knight of Swords, karma is going to be rushing in. And you're going to be overcoming any obstacles here. This, there's a big, huge tree there and this person's rushing in to jump over it um so i feel like since that came out with the justice card i feel like you know that's karma coming rushing in here so i don't think it'll be long before you see the success however i'm not into the part of the reading where we discuss timing um in my bonus extended reading i'll ask you know what's going to happen in the next six months to a year or sooner that way we know if it's coming in soon um, so this could be a while, but that, that rushing in card makes me feel like it should be soon. Uh, we get a lot more information in the extended as well. It's not just about timing, but I'll talk about that later before we get into it. So let's use this deck here to find out more. What else, spirits? With regard to the situation. So again, it could be, it's probably having to do with like a career or something that we would actually work, like actual work. But I mean, it could be a friendship or a romance too, because you, sometimes you have to work with those too. But I kind of take it more as, you know, an actual work situation and, you know, something that you're, you're really worried about now or in the near future or somebody in the situation is really worried, can't sleep at night, wants to collaborate with you. Um, so you should be working with other people with regard to this, or you have been, and karma is going to come in and, and balance the scales and make sure you get what you deserve, this achievement, this success. And look at this. We have uncovering treasure. Beneath the surface lies great bounty. So in this situation, you're going to be uncovering some kind of treasure. So if it is career, maybe you actually get more than just recognition. You get monetary recognition. Or if this is a romance, um, you know, some kind, something that would be considered treasure, great bounty. So that's amazing. Okay, let's use the stack here to find out a little more. A 
let me know in the comment section if you feel like this resonates with you or what what are you working on what have you been working on working hard on waiting for something to to happen with make sure you give this video a like and share the video as well that's very helpful for both of us for me to grow my channel but also for me to connect to your energy for future readings and help me to um have a stronger bond with you for that Okay, so we have Aurora Moon, breakthrough magic opening. So there's going to be some kind of a magic portal opening here that's going to allow this breakthrough. So this is definitely something you've been working really hard at. Again, whether it's career, uh, relationship, I'm not sure. At this point, we'll find out. Try to get a little bit more of a feeling about that. But something's coming up soon that's going to allow this breakthrough. Some kind of a magic portal. Um, yes, New Moon, Launch Vision Project. You're going to be um, launching this project soon, or you've already launched it. I don't know, something you're going to be getting a vision. Maybe this magic portal is going to be giving you the idea to, la to launch a project, an idea for a project that you can launch, which will lead to this work achievement or success. So maybe you haven't worked on this yet, but again, there is collaborating with other people. So take it how it resonates. Let me know in the comments section if it resonates with you. Yes, Halo Moon, spiritual gift inspired omen. So the angels are going to give you this, um, this inspired idea with you using a spiritual gift. So that would be your intuition, meditating. Beautiful. They might send you some signs and synchronicities with that omen keyword there. Um, so definitely if you already receive signs and synchronicities from your angels, if you already know you, you see them on the regular, um, definitely pay attention to them, Google them, you know, Google angel number, yada, 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 read about it. It's very important. Um, if you're not seeing them now because you're vibing low, lift your vibes. When you lift your vibes, it helps to see them a lot more and uh, notice them more. When you're vibing low, you kind of don't, you don't see them. If you've just never asked your spirit guides before, you have free will. So you do need to ask your spirit guides to see those, those signs and synchronicities. So they want to send them to you. And this is going to give you this idea of a project you're, you can launch or you've already launched this project or they've already given you the ideas. There's going to be some kind of magic portal opening that's going to allow you to have some kind of breakthrough and be able to um, get this great treasure, this great bounty here. So that's karma rushing in here. But you need to get out of your feelings. We have overwhelmed feelings immersed. So you've been overwhelmed with something. See, that's going to be lowering your vibes. So you're not going to be able to see those signs and synchronicities. So you won't be able to follow their little breadcrumbs. So get out of your feelings. What else, spirits? Rest if you're overwhelmed. Shadow moon. Inner work challenges rest. Yeah, see what I just said? <laughs> they do this to me all the time. I just said rest and then rest came out, right? Or maybe I just knew that card was going to come out. Hmm. Um, shadow moon, inner work, challenges rest. So rest, do shadow work, meditate. That is what you should be doing right now to deal with any kind of emotions that you've been overwhelmed with in the past. Maybe you were in your feels and you need to get in there and heal those wounds so that you won't be overwhelmed by that situation anymore. Let's use this deck over here. get a few more. What else is coming in in the future, spirits? What else about this situation? Okay, so we have brew, potential, intense, blend. Tell me more. Balance, remember, build. And a besom, fertility, clearing, renewal. So definitely this besom talks about the shadow work here. So yes, you're going to have this great breakthrough, this great idea for some kind of a project to launch. And, you know, it's because spirit will give you this inspired idea, right? You're going to be working with somebody, but then we're, they're talking about some kind of being overwhelmed. I mean, this could be you, could be somebody else, but I mean, I would assume it's you. Um, somebody immersed in their feelings, up in their feels, needing to do shadow work to get over those feelings that might feel like you're drowning in. Um, so definitely needing to do shadow work here. And then we have the broom, fertility, cle clearing, renewal. So this will clear these feelings and you will feel renewed here. This will help you to lift your vibes or I don't know, maybe, maybe you're 
with this um, magic portal opening, maybe that really means the new cycle, the new lucky cycle we keep talking about. Um, so like you're in a karmic cycle right now where you're learning lessons and you're doing the hard work, but you go into a new cycle where you're getting the rewards. So I feel like, you know, maybe this shadow work is the key that's been coming up in past readings. So it could be for this reading as well. Um, maybe this brew here, we have potential intense blend. So I feel like that's just intense feelings here. And um, you need to blend, you need to balance. We have balance, remember, build here. So I think you need to, to balance things out by doing this inner work, by doing the shadow work. Blend it out, balance it out um, by remembering. So we have remember here. Uh, remembering past things that hurt you and then healing them so that you can balance out your emotions here. Um, and also build here is, is this is you building a solid foundation for your emotional and mental health as well. Maybe you need to get in there and fix these wounds. I don't know, for some reason, I feel like I'm about to cry right now. It's weird. I've never had that happen during a reading. Um, you need to get in there and, and, and maybe cry to clear you know, to, um, cause with this water or moon overwhelmed feelings immersed, it's like you feel immersed and maybe you don't even realize you do. Maybe it's so deep in your psyche and your subconscious that you don't realize it. So you need to get in there and face anything that hurts you in your past because it's, it's some kind of a block to whatever the success is. So when you do that, that's, what's going to create this quote unquote magical opening here, this magical breakthrough is by clearing this block. So if we're talking work success, maybe you have a money block or you know a work success block or whatever you wanna call it. If it's love, maybe you have a love block. Um, yeah, we have snake health, deceit, sexuality. So I feel like it's gonna help you with your, your mental health, your emotional health here. But yeah, there was somebody in the past that hurt you, was a snake, was deceitful. So if it's work, maybe somebody, you know, or even in school, maybe people were mean to you or something like that and caused you to feel not good enough. And so you felt like you have this block here, or maybe there was somebody here that was deceitful with you in a love situation and it caused a block. Take it how it resonates with you, but you got to get in there and do that shadow work. We, you know, that's come out a lot in the readings recently. We have spider web, fake, tricky stuff. Yeah. So you feel stuck. This is, this is a block. It's blocking your blessing here. Um, so if you do this, you know, this is part of your fate to learn this lesson though. Let's find out more from this deck. All right, one else gets. Maybe one or two more from this, and then I'm gonna get into the bonus extended reading where we find out what's gonna happen in the next six months to a year or sooner with regard to this situation. Again, let me know down below in the comment section if you haven't already, if this resonates with you. And if so, what do you think it's talking about for you? Do you think it's a love situation? Do you think this is career for you? Uh, what do you feel could be blocking your blessings? And then write an affirmation in the comment section that um, beneath the surface lies great bounty. Or you can write through, you can write... Um, I am going to make a breakthrough. Yeah, this is going to set you free. Freedom here. So we have spider web stuck and then we have freedom, ironically. This is gonna set you free. This is going to uh, lead you to your success here. So let's get into the bonus extended reading where we find out what's gonna happen in the next six months to a year sooner. What is this success? Maybe we can get a little bit better grasp on if this is career or love. I'd go with probably, I'd lean towards career with the work achievement. Maybe, then again, it could be a lot of things for a lot of different people. Sometimes spirit wants me to keep it general on purpose so that it can mean different things to different people. Um, so at this point, I would probably lean towards like career and money. But then again, we don't have a lot of pentacles. We just have that one, that first card, work, achievement, and success are the keywords. So it could even be a relationship or a friendship and it needing work. Um, and you're getting achievement and success with it. Something you're very worried about. Like I said, you can't sleep at night or somebody in this situation is, could be somebody else, but you need to get in and do this shadow work, or maybe this is them doing the shadow work. I would take it that this is probably telling you, you need to do all this shadow work and it's going to set you free from whatever you feel stuck in. So let me know in the comment section, what you feel stuck in, what you think is blocking you and what you're working on. You know, you don't have to give specifics, but let me know if you think it resonates with you. I always love to know who these readings are for. Definitely. 
So if you want to watch the extended reading, go down below to the description box and there's a link. You can click on that. It takes you over to my Patreon. You'll notice it's only $5.55 to sign up, but that's not just for this one reading. That actually gets you exclusive access to all of the readings that I've done up until this point and all of the readings that I do going forward for whatever time period you pay for. So it's a lot of information. Um, the extendants get really fun because Spirit has the time to pop out more cards, some more synchronicities. Uh, Spirit sometimes shows off in those extended. It's pretty bad. Um, and I love it. I love it. It's, it's the, the moments when I'm like, you know, you can't make this shit up. I know it's real. I know that, you know, life exists after this, this life and that's, and it's beautiful. It excites me. So I hope it excites you as well. So if you want to watch the extended and get more information, we'll get advice cards, maybe some manifestation cards to find out what else you can do to help the situation along, to get rid of this block. Um, we'll talk about things you can do and, you know, pull some charms. We'll find out what's based on the current energy, what's supposed to come in in the next six months to a year or sooner. Is this success going to come in if you do the shadow work in the next six months to a year or sooner? If you want a personal reading um, where maybe you don't know, because this is general collective, you need to use your intuition. So if you want one where I just ask spirit solely about your energy and your energy only, you can get uh, a personal from me. I, I make a video just like this. I upload it to YouTube as private, and then I'd send you the link within a day or two, and then you can watch it over and over again. You can watch it at your leisure. Um, get your very own video. So my readings start at $20 and go up from there. If you wanna check out um, my offerings, go to my website, www.bossasswitch1111.com. I would love to do that for you. I do recommend a longer reading because we get a lot more cards. I can be more certain about things. More synchronicities can come out, especially if the question's very important to you, a super important, serious question, you know? Um, then if you can afford it, I, I do recommend the longer readings. However, I can with, work with the $20 ones as well. So, all right, guys, so we're gonna go over to the extended. We're gonna get a lot more detail. So if you wanna watch it, go down below, click the link, and I'll meet you over there so we can find out what this is talking about and what else you can do to bring in the success. So definitely, if you haven't already signed up for my Patreon, $5.55 is a mere <laughs> couple bucks for, it's an investment to guide you to your success, maybe even monetary success. So it's just, it's a very small investment, I think, for some awesome details. So meet me over there and we will find out what you need to know.